Hi, Kevin Coy here, and I just wanted to show you a little prototype of a uh, project that I've been working on. I started this uh, about a year ago, and I put this building out here uh, last fall outside, and I've had it out here all winter. I live in the Pacific Northwest, about 300 miles inland from the coast, and about 2,500 foot elevation, so we get you know a fair amount of weather out here, uh, and and so I wanted to see how this would uh, hold up as a, uh, a prototype structure that I uh, have been experimenting with and what it is is it's a variety of things it could be anything you want it to be it could be uh, you know a hunting cabin it could be a little uh, uh, fort for the kids it could be a, a starter uh, home homestead uh, building for you um, but today I want to talk about it being uh, a bug out shelter or a uh, you know get the heck out of dodge type uh, facility that you can use and, and the reason this is useful in this manner is because this will uh, pop apart it's a knockdown building it's panelized in four by eight sheets and the uh, roof is also in two pieces it pops apart in two pieces and um, the floor and so forth and, and so you can actually take this apart and put it in the back of a truck pickup and uh, haul it to a site uh, hopefully a predetermined site that's going to be really good for uh, setting up camp and, and surviving and, and thriving I should say um, with, with some comfort and, and you know getting out of the weather and so forth and you know you, people that have families that need to do this if this is you know a scenario that you gotta get out of the area because of a disaster I'm, I'm 300 miles in from the Pacific Coast um, we're talking about Japan having all this uh, radioactive fallout that could drift toward us um, I may need to you know go farther inland east to get away from that so that it dissipates before it gets to me and so this might be a viable uh, consideration for a family to have to get the heck out of an, of an area and, and have a way of you know having a certain amount of comfort at least to uh, uh, live temporarily so that they can uh, get by and take care of business and so a couple things outside here before we go in there is a stovepipe sticking up right there there's, there's a little bit of smoke coming out I don't know if you can see it on the screen there's also a solar panel that's portable sitting out there that I've deployed as well as uh, this awning that I've got up here and it's that's a metal 8x8 awning that swivels up away from the face of the building and then uh, I've got a small uh, pipe or pole rather uh, holding it up at a, at a kind of a goofy angle there and I'll show you why I've done that in a minute so uh, there's a couple of uh, as we get closer there's a couple of uh, little solar lights sitting right here that can be kept out and charged up during the day and set out so you've got some at least some ambient lighting outside to move around which is helpful um, you see I got the uh, the door to the building and a small window for light and ventilation that uh, when you drop that front panel right here down across there it can be secured across there to keep people out and and uh, so you've got a way to keep it locked up when you're not around keep your valuables safe so real quick uh, walking around over here this is the reason this is at an angle uh, up here like this is so that when the water hits it rain it'll run to this corner and drop down into this barrel it's a little 35 gallon plastic barrel and uh, you can see there's some water in there that's it's captured so that's useful water that I can use to do various uh, functions and so let's go inside real quick here and I'll show you some of the conveniences that we've placed in here that we can utilize on in a scenario like this so first of all there's the, the little wood stove and that's a little uh, camping uh, portable wood stove you can it's it, everything the legs and pipe and so forth all fit inside the firebox there and that's fairly portable it's also got some uh, side wings that will hang on there and a, and a water tank if you want to I don't have them on there right now to uh, add on to that if you like so I set it up because it's short and I wanted it up a little higher so I, I built a little box and I use it as a firewood box underneath so I'm utilizing the space well and uh, you can see it's a, a fireproof uh, platform and some concrete board around it just so you can kinda hold the heat and reflect it back and uh, 
fireproof the area a little bit. So the next thing we can look at is uh, the uh, backstage side of those solar panels which is these two deep cycle batteries that are sitting here and uh, with them I have a charge controller so they don't get overcharged and I can tell what's going on. The green light tells me that they're charged up all the way and the other yellow light underneath the amber light is telling me that they're still charging because there's sunshine out there but it won't allow it to overcharge. Uh, also I've got a, an accessory plug that's just an automotive off-the-shelf item that you can plug these 12 volt plug-ins into. There's three room for three and then also a USB port for charging as well. Uh, right here is a 400 watt inverter and that allows me to put 110 power out to other appliances and what I have on there is there's a, a plug-in for my phone which is sitting right here charging and then the uh, other cord coming down allows me to charge my laptop which is sitting over here charging and uh, I can have my computer with me and utilize uh, the power to recharge it and use it as well. Another project I've got going is a small automotive type stereo that I'm going to mount under a counter that will be able to run off that 12 volt power. Over here um, is where Mama's going to be real happy. This is a portable gas powered or propane powered hot water maker and so you've got basically your portable kitchen. This, this faucet right here produces on-demand hot water and also is hooked up currently to this which is a shower handheld shower unit so you can take a, a bath and clean up your act and that's going to make mom and the kids real happy to uh, hang out with you. Little Coleman stove with uh, some kitchenware sitting on it and a bulk tank which you can hook up to the stove. This is a little uh, metal pipe here is, a, is an accessory tree where you can hook additional uh, items up at the same time that are propane powered so like on top I could put a, a little uh, propane lantern and then I can plug my stove in and use both at the same time and I've got a little bit more than just a 16 ounce uh, disposable can so that, that propane tank is, is going to last me a long time just doing those functions. Um, this is a real neat item again going to make mom happy that is a uh, washing machine and if anybody's ever seen these they uh, you open the lid put some laundry in there some hot water and soap and start spinning. Little pressure. Keep that quiet. Pressure from that is going to force that hot soapy water through the clothes real fast and then you pour some rinse water in there and rinse them out and your clothes are clean and you're back in business. Again, that's going to make mom and the kids happy. We've got a seven gallon hot, uh, water tank back there that runs up to a handheld RV type pump. You can just hand pump that into the sink so you got some water there and a composting toilet this is a real handy item everybody's gonna be real happy that they don't have to go out in the woods when you can just go in a bucket full of uh, sawdust or peat moss or dirt or whatever you got handy and uh, utilize that instead of having to go over the side of a log or whatever alternative is so just a little bit of uh, you know and, and of course you know if we're gonna be out there for a while I've got a uh, uh, fishing pole that I brought with me well, I'm, I'm holding the the camera and uh, trying to utilize the props at the same time here my fishing pole I can go out here if I'm by a stream or a lake or a river or whatever I've got access to uh, some fish and there's just a little uh, 22 rifle. That's just a little single shot, bold action. I've had that thing for a million years, and it's a it's a critter getter. Um, you know that and a little box of 22 ammo, and you've got dinner for a long time as long as you're a good aim. Um, so just some ideas, just to give you a, an opportunity to kind of think about what's possible. I've got uh, you know just a metal roof with some real simple framing here. I built this so that it's in two uh, pieces and it slips together over the top and uh, you're all set and ready to go. There's a little fan that hooks up to the batteries. I got a light right here and uh, you're in business for uh, pretty, uh, pretty inexpensively and use your imagination, add what you want, take away what you don't want. Tell me what you think. Thanks a lot guys. Kevin Coy, Micro Homestead.